Welcome back. Colorado has one of the highest suicide rates in the nation, and it is the leading cause of death ages 10 to 18. Denver 7's Connor West joins us tonight in the studio. And Connor, I know you talked to a group of local teens who are fighting this problem by talking about it. That's right, and they are definitely talking about the alarming statistics about teen suicide. So 17% of Colorado middle and high school students in the last calendar year considered suicide. 7% of them actually attempted it, thankfully unsuccessfully. And those are really high statistics that have to change. Music. is one way to spread a message on the 16th Street Mall. Conversation Obviously this is very close to our hearts. is a way to drive change. How can we talk about it? How can we get better? How can this become more of a mainstream thing? That thing being teen suicide. It's a hard thing to see, but we all know that it's happening. Suicide took Avery Wilson's friend Robbie Eckert last fall. We all miss him a lot. I wish he was here with us. Through the pain of losing Robbie, his mom and dad made a goal to fight teen depression, anxiety, and suicide. Do you have a minute to talk about teen suicide? Through the friends their son made an impact on. They are full of passion and they're full of ideas and they want to fight this issue and they want to create the change. That's when Robbie's hope began. All of us here have gone to meetings every other Monday and where we can talk about like our own issues, but also like our goal and like um, how to help other people. Yeah, just spread the word. And in order to keep the group growing. So we go to Lakewood, one of our really good friends, Robbie, yeah. recently passed away to teen suicide. They're sharing their message, raising money, and most importantly, spreading awareness through the hopeful drive. So thank you guys. Hey, have a good rest of your day. Even a couple months have passed and we're still like really working hard so that we can help other people. This is for you, Rob, and this is so that other people don't have to go through the pain that you felt. Really amazing group I got to talk to. So the money that group raised today will go towards starting more hope groups. The drive will continue through February 10th, and if you or anyone you know needs help, the National Suicide Hotline is available 24-7. And just as we were talking about during that story, very important information and just really sure. good to be talking and about And you raise it. a great point. It's so important to, yeah, just converse about it. Absolutely. All right. Nice Thanks, job. Connor. Thanks, Connor.